right, good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's Flexi webinar. My name's Bennett. I'll be the moderator for today. Our presenter is Aaron Clapp. He's our application specialist at SAI. He knows just about everything there is to know about Flexi. And today he'll be showing us a neat new feature in Flexi 21, layered printing. After the presentation, we'll be able to answer any questions you have either about this feature or any other Flexi topic. So feel free to put those questions in the chat and we'll answer as many as we can. We are recording the webinar as always. So if you want to review anything Aaron discusses or share it with someone else, we'll be sending you all the link here this afternoon. So look out for that. And with that, we're ready to get started. So I'll turn it over to Aaron. All right, sounds good. So um, first we want to take a look at our production manager here. And that's where we're gonna jump right into. So you guys can see my screen here. <clears throat> so uh, the new features in Flexi allows for uh, greater customization when, and abilities during with layered printing jobs. And so what this allows you to do is allows you to create layered jobs with uh, multiple files or um, with a layered PDF or AI file or, or something like that. So um, we're gonna kind of look at both examples here and I uh, kind of just go over some of the settings um, uh, and, and go from there. So first thing is I've got a printer here. We're gonna just be using this uh, Muto 1628X. That'll be our example uh, machine. One of the important things that you're gonna wanna do is make sure that uh, for printing um, these layer jobs or, or with white and whatnot, you are gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a white profile. So if we go to our color management, um, you'd obviously set this to use color correction and you'd choose a profile. But the, the main important thing is gonna be that you have a white color mode selected. So uh, this might look like several different things. Here we've got you know, a CMYK light cyan white white. Uh, the one that I have by default here is just a a regular old CMYK white. So uh, that's gonna be the first thing you're, get, you're gonna need to do uh, is, is have a, the ability to print white or uh, in, in this particular case. So I'm gonna set that as my default and apply it so that when I import jobs, it automatically selects that. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is let's import a PDF or a file that has multiple layers inside of it already. So here we've got a, a PDF here that uh, allows us to, uh, or has multiple layers in it. So once it loads here, I'm gonna go ahead and double click on it. Again, we wanna verify that we're in white right here. And you're gonna see our output channel preview box. Now this allows us to uh, see our different output channels as they're gonna be printed. So the cool thing is here is that because this, this file has a, a white layer in or is a layered document, Production Manager has already recognized the file and the layers already. And if I were to go here and click on this option for preview output channels, I can then preview all my different colors that are gonna be printed in the different, uh, in the different layers here and even my, my spot white. So, uh, I can see here that my spot white is gonna be uh, printed as indicated by this black area here. So what I can do is, or when I'm printing white, so in this particular case, we're printing white behind this boom logo. So if we go back here, um, the the boom is the greenish color here, or, or is covering all the color basically. So we're, we're putting white all the way around the edges, but not in this white area here. So when we take a look at this file and we go to our output channel preview, or sorry, our separations, one of the things that we also wanna check is when we're setting these layered files up is to come into our separations tab and make sure that our colors are printing uh, uh, properly. So let, let's actually just go back here and change this to CMYK and then come back in here 
to our separations tab. So you'll notice now that this has a white channel in it, but it's going to be processed as, or it's going to be printed as processed. So this is again where it's really important for you to be able to have that white profile, because otherwise it won't allow you to print. It'll just print as process, which I will end up printing as nothing. So this, by choosing the correct profile, coming in here, I can click edit and print this out. Now, uh, you you might even run into a scenario where where white uh, is labeled something else. In this particular case, it's white, but the, 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 the name of the file may be called something else. That's okay. We can come in here, edit this color, and we can tell it what we want it to print as. Very similar to uh, how you'd print white and you'd choose the, uh, the spot color, and then you choose what color you want it to map it to, whether that be metallic or white or whatever your printer supports, right? So uh, we're going to just say we're, we want us to print as spot white because that's what our printer does. So again, this is just a layered file. And so if we were to print this, this is going to print uh, as uh, white underneath and then color on top. Now, here's the kind of the cool thing about this this uh, um, this output channel preview uh, is you can see what the different modes of your printer are, are actually going to do. So in this particular case, we can see that uh, spot white, uh, we have it specifically designed to print as the spot color. So there's a spot color in this file that we want to replace with white. If we go back into our printer options, we can come in to our white and metallic options. Now this is gonna probably look a little bit different for each printer. Some HPs have it different and obviously uh, just come into your driver options tab and look for white and metallic options or white options. Again, it'll be in this screen. Uh, just take a look here. It might be uh, listed here or you might have like, in this case, the Muto has a separate button for it. So we click on it, it brings this up and then we can choose how we want the white to be printed. Of course, now you've got how many times you want it to print, so how you know how thick you want that white to be. And then uh, you've got your different styles. Now each one of these applies white in a different kind of way. Uh, so if we choose spot color, it's going to replace the spot color with white. So where, whatever that spot color is, it's gonna replace it with white. We've got variable under, variable uh, uh, fill substrate, substrate, fill color, under color. So um, if we choose under color, this will put color underneath uh, the whole graphic. Uh, if we do substrate though, this is a really good one for this file. If we choose substrate, it will print white as the entire substrate of this area. So if we go back into our output channel preview, now it's gonna just print white instead of just behind the graphic, it's gonna print it everywhere. So this is kind of a, a nice thing to see here. So this kind of gives you a nice preview of what your white or your layered colors are supposed to look like. All right, so that's a layered file and we can also, so we'll hit cancel here. We can also take this file, we can right click it and we can also split the job by layers. And now we can see what each layer is gonna print and what's not gonna print. So here we have our artwork. So when we see this, we can say, okay, here's our color artwork. We wanna print it as colors. And then we have our spot white layer and we want to print that as white. We hit okay. And then now it'll separate those jobs for us. So we can kind of see each one. And if we double click on this again, now we can see here's our color and here's our, here's our white, which is this greenish color. And that was our spot color. So that's, so now production manager in Flexi has the ability to automatically recognize these layers job, layered jobs as you import them in. So this is really important when you get these files from customers or if you use Adobe Illustrator or some other program, you can build these layers into the soft or right into the file and then you can bring them into Flexi and, or into Production Manager and this will be automatically recognized. 
Now, let's also take a look at a job where we start out with separate files. So I just gathered a few little files here, three images, an A file, a B file, and a C file. Now, I just flipped this one here just so that we could differentiate it from the other one, but I'm gonna shift click these and bring them right in, hit add. Now these are still three separate files. I can edit the properties on these individually. What's really important to note about what I've done here is that the files are the same size. So uh, this is, is going to be important. Uh, and in this case, we want to make sure they're the same width and height. And so all three of these files match up, which will, which will be really good and make this really easy for me. So the next step then is, OK, I want to make a layered job. How do I do that? So I select all three of my files. I'm just hitting the, the Shift key there. Or you can drag and select. Then I right click, and I can now choose Create a Layered Job. So I'm going to click Create Layer Job. And then here I get the same Layers Printing Window dialog box. I can now choose which layer I want to print uh, color and which one is white. So obviously this one I want to print is color. This one I want to print as white. And then this one I want to print as colors. Click OK. It automatically nests these jobs for me. And then when I double click on them, you can see that it produces a nice little stack for us here. We can zoom in on this and you can see we've got our white, or sorry, our color, our white, and then our color again. So we can use this and kind of visualize this to see, okay, where is my white being printed? You know, what's it doing and where is it going? Again, we can choose our different options for uh, uh, white application. So I can come in here and say, oops, we need to go to our color correction tab. I can choose, do I want it to spot color, under color fit, you can, you can choose these different ones. We're just gonna leave it as default. And uh, <clears throat> when you nest a job together uh, with three separate files, when you create a layered job this way, you're actually gonna get a new tab. It's uh, called the Layers tab. And then you can come in here and kind of edit these as you like. So you know, I can come in here and change these after the fact, or if I just want to, I can show and hide different layers so that I can see what's being printed. So I could click these off so I can verify what, you know, what's being printed in my image here. Or you know, I can turn them on or, or turn them off or however I want to. So that kind of just a visual indication now, it's not going to print that way exactly. Uh, it's more of just a visual thing of, hey, here's these are the way that these are going to be printed. So uh, one on top of the other. So this is going to be a really kind of a big time saver if you're used to maybe doing it the old way with Flexi, where you, know, you had to kind of pull this the file in, and you might have some other things going on. And you might have to make some changes or you, know, you go through the production or sorry, go through the rip and print, set it all up and then get it sent over. This is going to make uh, uh, you know, a big, big difference, especially when you get those PDFs that may not always have that color or that color labeled correctly. Um, <clears throat> uh, I don't have a file here exactly that would show that, but um, if we pull this one back in, uh, you know, perhaps maybe the file was made for a different rip. So maybe uh, um, uh, Caldera or, or Wasatch or, or some other or Onyx or something like that. Each program tends to use a different spot color for their white. So let's just say it was made for uh, the file is made for Onyx. And that white color was listed as, um, you know, something else. Well, you would be able to come in here see what that color was, hit edit, and then automatically assign that color to your white right here. And so that's kind of really allows it to, to be flexible as well. And so, you know, that gives you that ability there. And again, you can, you can uh, preview that white layer. Now, in this particular job uh, back here, uh, this here was a uh, was a plain white background, so it's really it's hard to see because there's nothing there to see. It's just a white bitmap is what I created here. Um, 
and these are just JPEGs. So in this particular case, when I preview my, my white layer, nothing is really showing, but that's because I already, I already predefined where I wanted the white to print, and that was pretty much behind the whole graphic. I wanted white everywhere. Um, you could change that uh, and edit that in such a way so that your white would be under different areas. Now, obviously, that's probably not I, you know, ideal to set it up that way. Uh, the preferred method would be to have a layered dick uh, or a layered file. Typically, you're not going to be setting up, you know, three different files quite like this. Um, it most people, if they're using Illustrator or Photoshop or something like that, they're setting up a layered file all in the same unit. And so this is kind of where the big time saver is. Uh, although the feature does allow you to combine multiple images together to create that layered document. And again, it doesn't have to necessarily be white. It could be metallic or some other thing going on there. The key is we're just using white as an example here. And so using this new tool with the new output preview channels, we can now define where and what is going to show up. So now I can see, hey, this is where my spot white is going to print uh, and things like that. Um, so this is a really good uh, good tool we think that's going to be available for you guys that you really will like in Flexi 21. Really big time saver. It's easy to use. It's not hard. It kind of almost does itself as long as you have a white uh, a white profile. That's the kind of the big key. And you can go to our website and check uh, for your printer to see if you have any white uh, profiles. Um, if not, there's also uh, media manufacturers that will will do white as well. And so uh, that's kind of the key because if you take this off, then it kind of doesn't work because it wants to print that white as a process color. So um, or metallic, I guess, if you had metallic as well. So this is a, a new feature in Flexi is layered printing. Uh, we really think it'll be a time saver for you. Do you guys have any questions about this or uh, or about anything in Flexi in general? While you were presenting here, um, Mark asked one at the end here, can you change or manage the order of the layers? So let's see here. Uh, once they're in this uh, screen here, uh, the 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 layer or the, the order of the layers are uh, are locked in into their positions. Uh, the way that you would do that would be most likely read changing the order here, uh, the way that they're they're imported. Um, and so uh, I I would need to come in here and ungroup this job. Separate it, manage these. I can, I can, I can move these files around in different order, and then create my layer job, and then they will oh, I kind of changed the wrong thing there. Let's get the so file A. Okay, here we go. So there we go. We've got uh, we've got those layers changed up. So now it's color, color, white. Aaron. Most of those, uh, most of the way that you're going to control the uh, the layers is going to be when you create the PDF. So in this particular case, like for example, this guy here, we really can't change the ordering necessarily of the layers. That would need to be done inside the program when it was created. Uh, and hopefully, obviously, if the file was created correctly, you would have the white in the correct layer. It wouldn't be like stacked on top of something. Otherwise, the file is kind of done incorrectly. So uh, when you're getting it as a as a single file, it really does need to be correctly created. So, thanks, Aaron. Uh, Ariel had a question earlier. If you could see the white preview for the white layer. Yes, you can. So uh, again, if you're um, 
in this particular screen where we have the file as one job, so we've got the entire thing, we would come into our preview output channels, and then we would just preview our spot, spot layer, layer here. And we would define inside of our color management where we want that to, or sorry, in our printer options, where we want that, you know, how we want that white to behave. So if we go in here, we can do a, 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 and then we can choose where we want this to be. Typically it's, it's if you're doing white, uh, and, and this will also depend a little bit on your printer too. So I know for example, like the HPs have a sandwich mode where you can print, you know, color white color or, you know, white color white or, or something like that. And so you can define that here in your printer settings as well. Um, uh, but for the most part, it'll pull in uh, and, and, and you'll see the, the white, the way it's intended to be printed uh, this way. In this particular screen here for, for nesting multiple jobs, then we can kind of preview the layers uh, because there are three separate files that it can kind of identify in place. Uh, but in this in this one here, it's simply going to print how how you set it up. So it's not, there's not a necessarily a preview. You can preview what it's going to print, um, not just not necessarily in the order. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, are there any more questions before we close it out for today? We'll give just another minute here. If there's any questions about this topic or any other flexi topic, see if Aaron can answer it. And just as a and just as a comment, um, if you have a um, if you have an HP printer, one of the newer ones with the uh, with the newer ink sets, we have a video on our website, on our YouTube channel that we just posted not too long as a couple weeks ago, maybe that we just posted that specifically deals with the HPs and printing white uh, with this particular feature. So give that one also a look. Um, uh, that might be useful for you as well. If you have one of these HPs and you're looking into it, uh, that would be a really good video to check out as well since we go into more specifics about HP specifically. So in this case, we're just using a MUTO, but generically the settings are very, very similar and you're just you're looking in the same general vicinity for most of these settings. So if you have an HP, check it out and that might uh, give you a more specific help. Uh, we've got one more question from Kat. What file types can be imported in this? I believe any kind of layered file. So you're looking at like a PDF typically or an AI file. Um, EPS I don't think is going to work because I don't know if that you can really do layers in EPS. You might, but uh, I, I know uh, most commonly uh, AI and PDF would be your your recommended formats for that. But again, you see, you saw me here create a nested layered file out of JPEGs. So that could, you know, if you're doing a nested job like this, you know, it could be PDFs, EPS, uh, you know, it, as long as they're generally the same type of format, if you're setting it up is, is what we recommend for the, for the nesting. If you're taking multiple files and combining them together, we would recommend whatever format they are, that they be the same format. Thanks, Aaron, um, for answering those questions. I think that's all we had for today, so we'll go ahead and close it out. Thank you all for joining us for this Flexi webinar. Make sure you're subscribed to our newsletter so you won't miss any webinar notifications. Our next Flexi webinar will be about custom ink sets in Flexi 21. That'll be on September 7th, and we hope to see you there. Thank you again for attending. We hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time.